<laughs> this happened. Um, I was right out there, and then I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. Head first into a car. So <laughs> that was pretty wild. It uh, definitely spiced my life up. So it was um, pretty interesting. And then yesterday, I just <laughs> slammed my head in my car door. I don't know what I was doing. Being stupid. I was at Party City getting a freaking costume. And I just didn't duck my head down. And I sandwiched like a pinball machine in the door. So I'm all beat up, but yeah, I'm good. What was the costume? It was a, um, a Starbucks employee. Yeah. Pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess was the body useful, I guess, in terms of resting? Oh, yeah, it was good. Um, you know, as you get into like, what, week eight, week nine... Um, you know, your body kind of, you know, takes a toll on you. Just practice every day. And, you know, it's not like we had any big injuries um, that we're resting from. But, it, you know, it's just getting to be off your feet a little bit and kind of mentally decompress too. Um, you know, get to sit back and kind of watch some ball. Um, it, it, it was good. It was needed. I guess you watched Oklahoma. I did, yeah. I was <laughs> looking at this TV with Oklahoma on and then, you know, Syracuse was at noon with uh, Notre Dame. Um, so I'm like running in between each room, you know, seeing what the score is. Uh, you know, heart rate's like 140. You know, it shouldn't be because I'm not playing. But you know, I just, you know, I kind of feel like I'm there with my dad. You know, kind of watching him and, you know, hoping they can freaking destroy anybody they play. So, but yeah, it was good. You know, what's it like uh, the first time? Obviously, a couple of years ago, when you walk into Notre Dame Stadium, and you know, you being a college football family. You probably connected to that yeah. iconic side of what Notre Dame is like. Yeah, it was it was really historic. Um, you know, COVID, you know, lessened the amount of people that could be in there, whatever. Um, you know, but it was, you know, it was just, I was really in awe of how cool it was. Um, you know, the whole campus, uh, you know, it's extremely historic, uh, you know, beautiful architecture and whatever. Um, and, you know, the stadium, was it was just really cool. I mean, I was like, wow, I really get to be here in this venue. Uh, I'm like, think about Rudy the whole time. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Do you let that go for this trip up there? Obviously, you've been there before. You played them a couple of times in 2020, so you know what it's like facing them. Yeah, you know, you don't really try to ever let the moment get too big, and and um, you know, of course, you can go in and appreciate it, but at the same time, don't let it overwhelm you. Uh, but it, you know, you can always stop and smell the roses, um, and you definitely should. So I'll enjoy it just as much as two years ago. Were you? Uh, a little guy in high school in 2015, the rain game here yeah. in Notre Dame. And, yeah. And then bring your own BYOG, bring your own guts, that kind of stuff. That was really cool. Uh, and then, you know, just kind of watching that and how electric our atmosphere was and how close of a game it was. Um, so, you know, we've got some, you know, real competitiveness in the past couple of years and the past times we've played Notre Dame, you know, obviously twice in 2020. Yeah. And then the big rain game in 15. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty historic right now. Uh, they're, you know, they play with a lot of passion, uh, and that's a direct reflection of their leadership and their coaching. Um, you know, they're, I was mainly focused on their offense, uh, but, you know, they, they do a really good job of being so efficient, and that's because of how well they do on first and second down. You know, and they get to a third and three or, or less, uh, you know, and as a defensive player, that's like, I wish you would just, you know, get to a third and 11, you know, and do something stupid and shoot yourself in the foot. But they don't do that, and they're, you know, that's why they're so consistent. Um, it's because their first and second down production, you know, and then, you know, you watch, um, you know, their tight end play and it's, you know, 87 is unreal and probably the best, um, you know, tight end we're going to see all year. Uh, but they've got, you know, more than just one guy who's fully capable of doing it. And so they can get in some heavier sets. Um, and then they've got three running backs who are um, big dudes and not afraid of contact and, and willing to punish defensive guys, um, you know, so – they, they take a lot of pride in, in, in their run game. You know, another, um, you know, a credit to why they're so good on first and second is because they're willing to nickel and dime you in, through that run game. Um, you know, and then uh, quarterback's done a really good job of just kind of managing the flow of, of their offense and, and executing. Um, and then their offensive line, you know, just some big guys uh, and can move people out of the way uh, and then climb to the second level um, as well. So. You know, we've definitely got our hands full in, in a tall task. Tyler, going from the summer to now, where do you feel like you've grown the most within your game? <sighs> Good question.
question. <laughs> um, probably just my confidence. Um, I think in myself, and you know, I've always really, you know, kind of known what to do and stuff. But you know, just really believing it, you know, and getting lined up and and kind of trusting it, and you know, just kind of letting the game get really slow for me, and um, you know, just trusting my eyes and trusting what I'm seeing, and and just not really trying to do too much. Yeah, it's um, it's been tough. Um, he's just such a good dude. Um, I can't imagine, you know, how that would be for me. Um, you know, but just to see him, and, um, you know, he's just so passionate about everything he does, and uh, his whole family. Um, you know, his parents are such good people. Just really good people. Um, and uh, you know, just it's been hard, um, you know. But he's you know, just kind of just kept going, and he's just you know, he's just such a good dude. So, any questions for Tebow from Zoom? <laughs>